today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily detect and lift latent fingerprints without the use of expensive supplies. You may want to do this for fun, or you could also do it to help catch somebody that is touching something that they should not be touching. Fingerprint powders that you purchase online, like the one you see right here. Let me open this up and show you. This is a finely powdered carbon. A micronized powder. And what it does, it adheres to the oil in your skin, which was left behind with your fingerprints. People with oilier skin leave better prints, and people with very dry skin leave very hard to detect prints. Normally, the way the print would be detected, you would use a brush. This one here is not the typical brush that would be used by someone looking to lift a latent print. This is something that I picked up at an art store. It's called a fan brush. Now, a fan brush has very, very soft bristles. And ideally, if you're going to buy a brush like this, and it's only around $4, try and get one as long as possible with the bristles. The longer, the better. Because if you get one that's too stiff, when you go to detect the print, if you push too hard, you're going to damage the rich details of the print. Not very much of this powder is required. You only dip in just enough to coat the end. And then you very, very gently would go over the object to look for the prints. After using this powder, and it does work extremely well, probably around $12 for this little tiny container, I figured out another way that you can detect the prints just as easily for only a fraction of the cost. Now, what I discovered is that if you use, let me put the cover back on this, micronized chalk, which is used in chalk lines for construction. If you snap a chalk line for roofing, putting down tile floors, this is what you're going to get. It's a micronized powder, and that's what I put in this container right here. And you can see how fine that is. All right. This works just as well as this. When you purchase the chalk, I suggest that you purchase yellow and blue. Keep in mind, when you go to lift prints, it's going to have to be on a non-porous or possibly a slightly semi-porous surface. You will not be able to detect latent prints using this powder here on porous surfaces. The yellow chalk you would use on darker surfaces. So if there's a car that you want to check under the door handle to see if somebody touched the door handle and you have a suspicion of who it may be and the car is either charcoal or black, you would use the yellow chalk. Then once the print is exposed, you could take tape and you could lift it off the vehicle. If you're working on a very light colored vehicle, like white or beige, then you're better off going with the darker color here, which is blue. The total cost of a full bottle of this powder, as well as this brush, is going to run around $657, compared to around $25 to $50 if you purchase this specially designed fingerprint powder along with a professional fingerprint duster. I want to show you this. This is very cool stuff. Let me put this to the side. This powder right here is extremely handy. Let me open it up and show you. This is called ultraviolet theft detection powder. Now what this does, if you're not looking for the whole fingerprint and you just want to see if somebody touched something, then what you would do is you would take the brush Go like that. And you would apply this to the back of an object that you want to see if somebody touched. Later on, you can take a UV light like this. And you can shine it in the area where you place this. You can see if somebody touched it. And then you can also go up to people's hands and look at them using the light. It will identify any residue left behind from this ultraviolet theft detection powder. It does not wipe off of your hands too easily, and if you go in a pitch black room, hold the UV light next to somebody's hands, you will be able to see the residue from that powder.
The UV theft detection powder costs around $12 to $15, and you do get a decent amount. This right here, you can pick up at Home Depot, Lowe's, any hardware store, chalk for a chalk line, and the brush you could pick up at any art supply store. I'm now going to give you a quick demonstration using my scooter with my fingerprints. You are now looking at the rear storage compartment on my scooter. I'm going to be looking for latent prints on top of that lid in the area where you would place your hand to close the lid. I'm going to be taking the fan brush and dipping it inside the white powder. In your case, if you're using the chalk line chalk, you should be using yellow. You don't want to put too much on the brush. You could shake off the excess. Just make sure there is enough on both sides. We're going to be using extremely light pressure with just the end of the fan brush dragging over the surface. As you can see, it's already bringing out the prints right there. Now you could take the fan brush and gently blot each fingerprint to make sure all of the ridges are covered. Just keep patting down and very, very gently drag over the fingerprints. You don't want to push down hard. If you do, you're going to distort the image because you're going to be smoothing out the fingerprint. You do not want to do that. You're going to continue to keep blotting and gently wiping over the print until you're satisfied with all the ridges. There's no need to apply too much powder when you're doing this. Apply just enough to bring out the prints. Once you're satisfied with the results, you could stand to the side, blow off all the excess powder, like you see right here. It's nice and clean now and you can see all the ridge detail in each one of the prints. Take a piece of clear scotch tape, place it directly over the print, carefully press down, make sure there's no air bubbles trapped as you do this. You want to roll the tape down as you're pushing down. Once you remove the tape, the print will be on the tape. You can then place that tape onto a dark piece of plastic or a dark piece of paper and you can easily observe the ridge details. Once all the prints have been lifted and placed onto a card or your computer, you're going to want to compare those prints to your own prints as well as any suspects. I'm now going to show you the exact same procedure again on a different location on my scooter. This part of the scooter is a silver area near the front. We're going to be using the blue chalk that you purchased at the store and using extremely light pressure you're going to brush over the area that you suspect the prints may be like before very very light pressure you can gently blot the area with a little more powder applied to the brush to make sure all the ridge details have been filled in and then when you're all finished very very gently you can brush across and you can blow away the excess powder we're going to be using the clear scotch tape but this time the print because it's darker it's blue or you can use black, whatever color you prefer. That is going to be placed on top of white paper or an index card so you have very good contrast for observing the print. Peel off a three or four inch section of tape. Make sure your fingers do not touch the center of the tape that's going to be covering the fingerprint. And you're going to push the tape down gradually to avoid having any air trapped under the tape. You can now see the print is off of the scooter 
and it's on the tape. The next step is to now take that tape and affix it to a white piece of paper or a white index card. Once the print is on the index card, you could take photographs up close and you can even use image editors on your computer to further enhance the ridge details of the print. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.